I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five browsers to use instead of Chrome. Google's Chrome is the dominant browser on Earth, which means it works with pretty much everything. But it also means every malicious attacker goes after Chrome first these days. Google does a good job of securing it, but is there something else out there that might suit you better? Here are five browsers to use instead of Chrome. Number one, Firefox, the granddaddy of them all at this point, descended from Netscape, which itself was descended from Mosaic. While it may not have a dominant market share, it has a vibrant developer community and works hard to make it easy to keep your browsing private and secure. Coming in at number two, Microsoft Edge. Want the compatibility of Chrome with maximum integration into Windows and Microsoft 365? Well, the new Microsoft Edge is built on the Chromium engine, so it's as compatible as Chrome itself, but with that Microsoft spin. Up to number three, Opera. Want the compatibility of Chrome, but want nothing to do with Microsoft? Opera is also built on the Chromium engine and touts its expertise at private browsing and ad blocking. It's the choice for the cross-platform user, available on Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, Android, and even Chromebook. Sliding in at number four, the Brave browser. Want the compatibility of Chrome, but want nothing to do with Microsoft or Opera's Beijing-based owners? There's US-based Brave, which makes privacy and security its main selling point, with ad blocking and private browsing, even Tor, all on by default out of the box. It also supports decentralized tech, like the IPFS, blockchain domain names, and more. At number five, Vivaldi. Want the compatibility of Chrome, but want nothing to do with Microsoft or either China or US-based owners? Vivaldi is run by the original co-founders of Opera and based in Oslo, Norway. It supports the usual ad blocking and privacy features, but tries to distinguish itself with a simple and usable design. I know, most of these are running on the Chromium engine, but hey, that means compatibility and choice. If you're wondering why you need to dump Chrome at all, take a look at Jack Wallen's article, It's Time to Dump Chrome as Your Default Browser on Android at TechRepublic.com. I'll see you there.